Welcome to our first galvanized sweat series. We are all in our new galvanized sweats and we thought we would sweat out some of the good things, some of the bad things, the moments we would take back and the moments we're really proud of from our time in Arizona so far. Who would like to kick us off? I think our best story is one of our funniest, maybe most embarrassing moments. Alexis, do you want to share what happened at the podium yesterday? <laughs> you just said the same. So, yeah. a lot of people. Everyone that you would know in sports is in this building. <laughs> Possibly at this point. <laughs> I talked to Laura and she's like, Nick Bolton has a great story. His sister was very sick and he took care of her. And we were at the podium, there's room. And I go, hi Nick, um, I'm so happy to talk to you. Do you remember your rookie camp in Galvanize? And he says, yeah. <laughs> he was never in a Galvanize <laughs> Your galvanized camp when you were a rookie with Laura Oakman. But, but he was. So we well, let's give a shout out to Nick for being such a good sport and pretending for Alexa's sake that Thank he you, had Nick. done a galvanized yes. camp. You know, Nick, Nick, you're a real one. one. <laughs> you're... <laughs> Mentally, he was there. <laughs> if you want to come to a galvanized camp, I can't speak on Laura's behalf, but I'll put it in <laughs> Like, Pamela, you should tell yours next. So anyway, we were sitting there with the Chiefs, and they were walking around all of these players, and so I, as you guys may or may not know, I'm not the most outgoing walk up to someone and present something. So I walked up to these two tall players that were sitting there just talking to each other. They seemed kind of excluded from the rest of the event, and so I was like, hey, we're currently doing a series focusing on who you are, and not necessarily football. Would you two be interested in coming over to do a quick interview with us? And the one player looks at me, he goes, no, I'm good, and the other one goes, not today. And I go, okay, awesome. Enjoy your evening. And I came back to where we all were. And so I was like, okay, that's fine. Like, not going to think too much of it. We continue to go about our day. And then at that point, that's when Alexa walked over to the podium. So then we're coming back and we're sitting there and I'm like, oh, where are the twins? And so they're like, oh, we're going to go off and start looking for people. And so we were all taking turns kind of standing yeah. with the camera and then pulling players. Yes. We found them to come do an interview. To get them. Yeah. So Pamela had taken her shot. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even say she missed. I would just say that I just it just bounced back. It, it just bounced back. <laughs> it just bounced back. I threw it and it came right back at me and it's fine. So we're like, okay, Pamela, I'm determined. I'm going to get you somebody good. Mm -hmm. So I go out there and I see these two tall players. And I was like, that's great for Pamela. I didn't recognize them at first. I was like, this is great for Pamela. She won't feel like the tallest one. She has some guys that have some height. Um, and I said, uh, hey guys, why don't, why don't we go do a quick interview? I just want to hear about who you are, not what you're doing. Uh, we're not going to talk about football. And one of them was like, yeah, okay. And he wasn't the most enthusiastic. And the other one was like, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do it together. And so both of them come walking over and Pamela's just got this weird expression on her face. And I was like, is she feeling uncomfortable? Like, is she okay? <laughs> I was like, Pamela, I, I found two guys for you. I, I made some friends. And Pamela's like, oh, great. <laughs> awesome. And you were like, oh, do you like, not? Do you, are, like, do you not want to do it? Like, I was trying to do the eye-to-eye -eye communication. Like, are you okay right now? Like, yeah. do I need to, am I going to substitute you? <laughs> yep, and I was. And the twin telepathy was not. <laughs> it was <laughs> not. <laughs> Happening. Yeah, so I would say that Pamela did it like a pro, and not only was it a good interview, at one point in the interview, each of them at different times said, that was a really good question. So I think that maybe they, they, do. they got sneaky galvanized. But before my crazy interview, you too had a bit of a sweet interview with a man who didn't know he needed to be galvanized, but was feeling it in every way. Why don't you tell us about that one? We just talked about his family and his kids and how he misses them, and he's excited for them to get here on Friday. He told us about how much they all galvanize him, how he galvanizes them, and at the end of it, he was just so sweet, and he held his heart and said, thank you for this, I really love this. It made my heart happier, it made my heart warm. Yeah, this was, I like this, this is really cool. I felt like, I was like, I don't know, my heart feels good right now. And it was, I think, the sweetest moment that we've had in an interview so far. And I think that was nice because we had our marketing support group, Gorillas, were with us there, mm -hmm. as well as our galvanized lawyer, Michelle. And they hadn't had that kind of reaction from somebody yet from a galvanized experience because they haven't been to a boot camp. So I think they all really felt the impact of galvanized when they saw him literally clutch his heart and say, that that made my heart happier, that made my heart feel good. And they were all afterwards, like, that was the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, they so felt the magic really they come really through. Felt and Drew, do you have something that was good, something that was bad, something you want to celebrate or take back? 
Well, I'm thinking like during opening night, I just felt like because we had such a whirlwind of a day that going into opening night, I honestly was like kind of like ill prepared and I didn't have like questions in my mind that I wanted to ask people. So, you know, when I was having like the first interview was with three players, so no less. <laughs> so I'm like having to embarrass myself from not one, not two, but three players. And I just felt I wasn't asking like really good questions until Amanda came and saved me and then some stuff like kind of came to mind. So that was nice. Yeah, I was I was galvanized in that moment. But um, yeah, no, so that was fun. But I just felt like, okay, I just need to be a little bit more prepared. And then today, like our interviews that we got to do, I was just like, I feel really good. I feel really prepared. And then I feel like everything came out really good too. You were asking really good questions. I love you. Thank you. You're selling yourself short. You yeah. are. We weren't expecting three of them. Drew and I approached this group of guys that weren't being spoken to by other media, and so we said, and they're like all on defense, like at play. Yeah. Like, we couldn't. I think what's happening right now. I couldn't believe that they were standing there. So we said, like, you guys spend enough time together. Why don't you come do an interview? And um, they were like, can we do it together? So we were like, sure. And then Porter was looking at three of them and trying to figure out how to conduct a galvanized interview. And you've got three of them standing there. I also think that kind of comes back to what we were talking about a little bit last night after the fact of how we're all so used to when we're in galvanized mode is opening up and just being vulnerable from day one. And so. Coming into this, I mean, at least speaking for myself, I know that jumping into interviews without the sisterhood day prep and without actually feeling the magic fully in our bones and just jumping straight in, I know that was a, definitely really difficult for me. As you said, it was hard to kind of get in game mode and go deep when instead of taking it layer by layer, we were going from top all the way to the deep end, and I feel like we've all adjusted super well. But you did pretty well considering it was, I think, a super intimidating experience at the same time as it was super exhilarating. Yeah, like even like. If you're a reporter, you're used to like going in the locker room and talking football. You have back to back interviews, but you're always talking football. When you're going deep, it's always like you got a planned feature and you're like preparing before and you're like warming them up, like galvanizing. And here, just like, hey, next person, next person, next person. And you're not talking football, you're talking, you're going deep every time. So, yeah, it's definitely a push. It is a push, but I will say the people, for the most part, everybody has leaned into us. And I will definitely give the credit where it's due that we are asking the solid questions and really trying to dig in but these people didn't, don't have to meet us there if they don't want to and it's really been neat to watch people open up and meet us halfway and really give in to these vulnerable conversations while we're trying to have them on the spot so it kind of gives credit both ways which was has been really neat to see. This is putting galvanize on the map for the future for so other people other women can do this and hopefully this opportunity here creates many more opportunities for galvanize. And I think it, it's getting a lot of that, so that's exciting. Yeah. One thing we didn't talk about was how many people freaking know Laura, because I swear to God, every five minutes, somebody comes and is like, oh my God, I haven't seen blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel so thankful in every way, and it's obviously so, right, obviously, like, so thanks to Laura for even offering this chance and getting galvanized on a bigger scale than all of us and all the thousands of women here deserve. All this kind of supporters, yeah. so it literally invested to make sure that we could be here, the women like Michelle and Gorillas that are getting us incredible guests and helping to manage everything so that we don't feel like we're in over our heads because we know for a lot of women before us, they didn't have that safety net. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that all of you feel like you're here with us because we feel your love and support so much.